Okay, so yesterday at this time, had you stood right here and say done that, uh, you would have got, well, stung. And uh, you'll, if you watch the video, you, you'll get an idea of about how many times that would have happened. It, it would not have been good. But I'm about to take this right here and cut that one down and uh, throw it away or keep it or something. But anyhow, watch the video for what I think is the safest way, as long as you can access your hornet's nest or wasp nest uh, within reason with your truck, the safest way to do this without getting stung. So here it comes. All right, there they are. They're trying to come out every once in a while. I'm pulled right up beside it. They coming in and out though. Maybe right, not right now, but I've already saw a couple. Got a light on the roof, a magnetic light on the roof of my truck, or I opened up my sunroof and set a magnetic flashlight there. So I got it lit, and I'm 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 two maybe three feet away from it, and you can see them right there. You can see them in that hole. So they're crawling around right there. Big old nest. My son said he just sprayed it. And I can tell it's wet. And it's dripping. But the stuff he was using just didn't seem all that... Uh, uh, well, I, he sprayed some wasp. Not hornets. But he sprayed some wasp at his house. And I could see they were moving a few minutes later. And you can see... I'm not sure you can. But I can see them right there crawling around everywhere. So it kind of worries me. And now I've got a different kind, I think. But you can see them all over that nest. And you see the nest is pretty wet. So, I'm I'm that close. That's my camera backed all the way up. So you can see how close I am to it. It would be real simple for me to roll this window down just a little bit and then spray right there. And you can see all the ones that are on there now. Well, I say you can. I won't know until <laughs> I'm editing <laughs> But they're there. So, what I want to do is use this right here. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it unless I turn on a light. Right there is what I'm fixing to put. Now, I hadn't done any research on it. I did see somebody put up, don't use RAID like it's not any good or something. And I'm not even sure what my son used. I think it might have been RAID. But I got a brand new can. I'm right here beside it. So I'm going to get my act together with it, and then we're going to roll this window down and spray them. Be back. Okay, so the light that I've got right up here on my roof, magnetically uh, attached, is flickering a little bit. And I want to make sure everything is perfect <laughs> before I do this. And I'm going to do it with my camera in one hand, this in the other. And I'm just going to go down as much as I have to, as little as possible. And I'm going to see what happens. So y'all bear with me. Here we go. That'll do. There we go. Let's see what happens now. Well, they're buzzing around there now. But, uh, again, still buzzing. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Uh... I think that the those that flickering is the shadows of those hornets <laughs> flying around. I don't think it's flickering anymore. I don't yeah, maybe it is. Maybe they're on it. I don't know. They don't like I hear they go after light. Let's just see if we can tell. Oops, if I can find how to do that. Well I got it a lot better than that while ago. Let me turn off that light. But y'all bear with me. We're all kinds of learning going on here. But I can't tell. Oh, they're covered. They're covered. That that light is. That's why you can't see it from here. It there it is. Look at them on it. They do not like light. Look. Oh, look at here. They want in here on me. They're on. They're on top of my sunroof. But the light is pretty much. I thought was flickering. It's flickering because those hornets are all over it. <laughs> so, and uh, be honest with you. Those hornets are crawling right through that raid. The it, It's obviously not knocking them down. And you saw what I sprayed in there. And listen to them hitting my truck. 
See if you can hear that. It almost sounds like rain. Look at them. Man, they don't like that light. But, anyhow, this is kind of getting along. And I, I'm not crazy about what, what that raid did. Because they're still alive and well. They're not like dropping. And you see them on my window. They're mad. I don't blame them. But look. You know something. If this were out in the woods. I'm not the kind of person that just goes and tries to kill things anymore. <laughs> what I'm saying is. If this were out in the woods. It might be different. But my grandson plays right here. And that is. Well you see how high it is off the ground. It's not very high at all. So. This is my first attempt at getting rid of this. With a. Uh, using raid this time but and that's what happened when I go I couldn't get it to see that light because I didn't have it zoomed in enough but it sounded like rain so anyhow you, you get y'all get the idea but kind of neat all right I might give it another half a can just just because I, I because I can <laughs> half a can because I can and I gotta find it here it is so another little risky moment I'm not crazy since I've seen them all over the glass but I'm gonna try. Shake it up and out the window. I'm gonna let it hold a bunch. I'm gonna let it have the can. As long as it don't come in. You know as I thought. I better I'll raise that window up for a minute. I am getting it on my truck. I'm not sure what I'll do to my truck. So I think we're going to call this a completed task. <laughs> and then tomorrow, and you see, it's actually, it is kind of destroying the nest. But I've got it all over my truck, so I'm going to go rinse this off. But it, it, it is destroying, it looks like, the nest. But we will go further with this tomorrow. I don't, I don't see any on there right Well, yep, there comes one. So, well, like I said... Uh, I think I turned my camera off, so I'm going to do it again. You see the nest is collapsing a little bit, it looks like, but it's a pretty good size one, there's no doubt. And uh, I see them still on it, and, they, and they're not dropping. That's what bothers me. I would think when they got in that stuff, they would drop, but they're not. So, we may try something different tomorrow. We'll see what's going on tomorrow. But be back. See y'all then. Okay, so, so for a little bit of a better explanation on what was going on. There is the light. And what I did was I opened my sunroof. I, I could have put it on earlier, but what I did was I saw where I needed it. I opened my sunroof. It is a magnetic light. It has a magnet there. It's got a couple of other magnets, but that is the, there's the one I used. And then I directed it, obviously, where I needed it. And then I, I cracked my window right here. That's where I was spraying from. Just so you'll know, you know, that's what you saw the hornets attacking from me trying to film from inside the truck. Now, here's what I used, which is Raid. Now, I wasn't particularly impressed with it, but if I go back tomorrow and they're all dead and the nest is able to take down, I'll be, I'll be good with it. But I like to see them drop when I hit it, you know, because if I were not in this truck, uh, they were not going down fast enough for me. But with the safety of the truck, it, it works really, really well. So it's, it's like the maybe third or fourth time I've used this method. And uh, it, it works fairly well. I haven't been stung yet. You just got to make sure you uh, aim at your target and hit what you're aiming. But anyhow, now you know. I might see you. will hang, come hang out with Jelly again sometime. We'll have some other things before long. All right, here's what I did last night. Came off the road right there, and I just drove my truck right up through here and around to it just like this. And Casey had already sprayed it last night because it was wet. We I talked about that last night in the video. But here's where I was sitting. And here it is. So as far as the raid that was certainly not knocking them down, well, you can see that they are dead there. So it does kill them. It just doesn't knock them down, you know, like I like. Because if I had not been in that truck, of course, they would have tore me up. But there are a good many on the ground here. And... I'm, I, I would feel safe to uh, cut this down now and get rid of it now and hopefully it, it killed the majority of them because what I don't want them to do is to move 
to somewhere else and then it happened again but anyhow there's the review on uh how, how on how i kill uh well i have done this like maybe two or three times but one i've done it with a wasp nest just like similar to this but this is the first hornet's nest i, I remember doing but it works you saw you know you you don't get stung if everything goes good now there's oh thought that was a hornet but it's not um uh, as long as you keep make sure your windows are up, you're good. But anyhow, now you know. Y'all come back, hang out with Jelly sometime.